and blues. Despite the frigid art, most activities are indoors, and that's right where many headed tonight. Going to the movies. Yeah. Why is that? Because it's warmer in the movies. <laughs> Lowell's Kitts Bay Theater was a favorite spot for a flick and a heater. On a day like today, when the wind like rushes past the buildings, I think so. It's definitely a good idea. Others opted for a rental and snuggle at home. Sit next to the fire and watch a few movies. I'd rather it be a little bit warmer. And I think in the last 10 years, I think this is the coldest it's been yeah. here. So it is freezing. I'd rather be inside in the heat. But if you have no heat where you live, check boilers or furnaces. Call your landlord who is legally responsible to make your homes at least 55 degrees at night and 68 degrees during the day. No answers? Call New York City's hotline at 212-824-HEAT. And if you must go outside, bundle up tight in layers, hats, and gloves, especially those with low immune systems like the elderly, most susceptible to hypothermia and frostbite. And we are talking about dangerous conditions here, especially for people who don't have a warm place to go, which are the homeless. There's an estimated 38,000 people here in New York City who seek shelters. Their doors are open and the NYPD is out too in full force trying to pick up people who are out on the street and make sure they are in a warm place. But I have a question, Joe Chaffee. I had some dreams about tropical weather, Puerto Rico, like where I'm from. Am I anywhere near that, at least for the next couple of days? Please, Joe? Uh, sadly, I didn't hear the whole the question, Lolita. You have to know if it's going to be anywhere like Puerto Rico. I need tropical weather. Not a weather. chance. Not a chance. Beach. It's not going to happen. Oh. We are going to give you a little bit of relief as we have uh, temperatures that, uh, well, from these with the morning lows in the single digits, we recovered into the upper teens and low 20s. That's about it. Now, the good news here is that for tonight coming up, we're not going to bottom as low, but it's still bone chilling cold here. Newark at 18, 20 at LaGuardia, White Plains at 12. The cold spots where skies are still clear, dropping off to the single digits and over at 8, 7 at Wrightstown on the island, 17 at Islip, West Hampton at 15. While this is the first shot of bitter cold air, a little bit of relief is coming. But now we're going to be watching an upper air disturbance that's producing some snows in the Ohio Valley tonight. That could swing in eastward. A little later on, we're going to tell you about that. The next shot of bitter cold air and, now get this now, and the potential for maybe some important snow later this coming week. All of that coming up in a bit. Mary? Right, thanks, Joe. We'll see you later. A subway conductor is dead tonight.